hello friends welcome to the session so actually many of us we had a very doubt or confusion regarding the assessment and evaluation process for the academic session 22 and 23 so right now the cbac has uh, clarified how the assessment and evaluation process will be there for the session 22 and 23 so in this session we will come to know the all detail about the assessment evaluation and uh, exam pattern how many examination will be there and the entire uh, idea will get in this session because the letter has come i want to show you here so this yesterday uh, the letter has come from cbsc related to assessment and evaluation practice for the board for the session 22 and 23 this session is not only for the teachers it is also necessary for the students and the parents for their preparation for the those are preparing for their board examination so okay my name is ajay kumar let us start the session very quickly we can see here we are going to accept national education policy 2020 this point must be remember so in order to accept national education policy 2020 it is necessary to move from rot system to competency based learning system my dear friends please remember now rot learning system is completely stopped now we are going to focus competency based learning system so this will equip the learners with key competency to meet the challenges of 21st century proactively means this is the main idea means we are going to we are going to accept competency based education system in all the schools affiliated to cbsc all the schools okay and we are strictly going to accept national education policy 2020 from this academic year onwards so please remember this one so many of my friends uh, they asked me regarding that national education policy is going to be accepted from this year or next year means from this year onwards we are going to accept national education policy 2020 or new education policy 2020 okay so let us start the main objective how the changes for the board examination and internal assessment we'll discuss one by one so in this session we'll be discussing class 9th 10th 11th 12th and in my last video i have discussed from class 1 to class 8 if you want to see class 1 to class 8 you can just see in the description it is given for from uh, for class 1 to class 8 and this session we are going to discuss about uh, the session uh, exam uh, pattern for class 9th to 12th okay so let us focus for class 9th and 10th as we know that in the last year due to covid 19 situation for 21 22 session we had we had two term term 1 and term 2 system was there but this year it will be annual scheme means once in a year means total syllabus examination will be the annual examination but in in the last year 21 22 session we had term 1 and term 2 in term 1 50% and term 2 50% pattern was there but this year it will be completely 100% only annual exam will be there 100% the competency based education system already we started in the last academic year i mean 21 22 and this year also it will be 100% focused according to competency based education system we had only 30% questions on the based of competency based and remaining it was our general uh, means question answer pattern but in term 1 you know that 100% mcq was there in term 2 written test all of you know that so now this academic year 22 23 we will have 40% of the question will be competency based education system competency based learning that means 40% questions will be indirect question means there will not be any uh, direct uh, from textbook no question will be asking so application based assessment reasoning and uh, what is the daily application based question so that type of question will coming 40% no direct question next 20% question will be objective mcq fill in the blanks blanks and remaining 40% uh, 
short answer that may be two marks three marks and five marks question so this is the pattern once in a year the exam will be there now many of friends will ask me sir according to new education policy semester based examination must be there then you are telling one exam in a year so for the, for that you just keep on watching what is happening at the end once again i'm telling according to national education policy semester wise examination will be there but now i am telling here or according to cbc letter it is annual scheme so then now let us see what is happening now okay so this is all detail about class uh, 9th and 10th when you are coming for internal assessment internal assessment same 20 per 20 marks internal assessment and 80 marks uh, what do you call annual annual exam will be the internal assessment 20 and board or annual examination will be 80 marks okay if it is 50 then it will be 10 and 40 so this is detail about class uh, 10, 9th and 10th now we are coming for 11th and 12th 11th and 12th also same annual scheme will be there and uh, here what happens 30 percent of the questions will be competency based and same 20 percent will be objective but here 50 percent will be written question long answer and short answer that also two marks three marks and five marks okay so 30% competency based, 20% objective and 40, 50% will be what? Long answer, short answer as per the existing pattern, 2 marks, 3 marks and 5 marks. What is the going on? And when you are coming for internal assessment, there is no change in internal assessment. But one thing we remember, uh, in class 12th, there are some subjects. For example, if I am say physics, chemistry, biology, there is no internal assessment, only practical and theory. If I say about physics, physics 30 marks practical and 70 marks a theory. So the same pattern will be there. There is no change. So annual system. And uh, dear friends, many of you asked me about uh, term one remuneration, term one payment. It is the update is going on and it will be released very soon. And one thing I want to tell you that so many times you are making phone call to me, you know, term two examination is going on. I'm completely busy with term two examination. So sometimes I may not be able to answer your call. So you can just drop me a message in WhatsApp and immediately I will answer you. Otherwise, you can uh, drop me a message in Telegram group. Also, the Telegram group is given in the uh, description. So you can drop a message in Telegram group or WhatsApp and immediately I will answer to your queries. So thank you. One second, we'll meet in the next video. In the next video, we are going to discuss the detail about CBSE bylaws and CBSE examination bylaws. So many of my friends, they ask me, sir, you make one session to explain the all detail bylaws of CBSE and the direct admission process, CBSE bylaws, examination bylaws, affiliation bylaws. So in the next session, we are going to discuss the detail. So thank you so much. One second, we'll meet in the next session. Goodbye.